And let's focus on what's going on in the City Council of Johannesburg. The Mayor and Paul Palazzi won't be facing a motion of no confidence after all, but it seems the city's chair of chairs, Colleen Makubele, will. After the ousting of Speaker Vasco da Gama recently, Makubele appointed herself in the position as acting Speaker and scheduled a special council sitting. This in an attempt to oust Palazzi as Mayor. But this plan was stopped in its tracks late last night by the courts. And now Makubele faces the wrath of the multi-party coalition. ENCS Pulele Tweety Jones has been tracking developments. And Pule, I mean, it's, it's a bit like Game of Thrones, I'm thinking. I mean, it just doesn't stop. Sure. It looks like it's uh, Mpo Palazzi versus Colleen Makubele now. Yeah, definitely. And what we understand is that the executive mayor of Johannesburg and Popalate has taken a firm stance to say that her position is not in danger. In fact, she says that they have now welcomed that um, high court judgment which was released yesterday, which saw the special counsel sitting, which was expected to sit today, being interdicted. Now, what would have happened is that if the sitting would have went ahead, we would have been seeing a motion being tabled against Popalate in a secret ballot process. And that was very something which was threatening her position but they're now taking a different posture here saying that uh, they will be tabling a motion of no confidence against the um, chairs of chairs um, Colleen Makubela in the next council session that will be taking place in month end but for now what we understand is that the acting city manager will have to preside over the affairs of the council and while that's the case the the multi-party coalition government believes that this is the right step in the right direction in terms of ensuring that they can prioritize service delivery. Perhaps we can take a listen to what they had to say earlier. Our numbers, as I've already said, are intact. We already passed the 135 mark. In fact, we already passed the 136 mark, um, and we're just looking at the extra. So there is no need for us to stall, because even if we were to go to council today, we would have the numbers to defeat whatever that the opposition tries to bring. So no, that's not true. Um, in terms of my position, um, no, I'm not worried about my position. In fact, we've just had a meeting with the MMCs. We meet every week on a Tuesday morning just to engage on where we are, give each other support and, and plan together. And we are as united as we've always been. There's no issues and no, my position is not, not in danger. Did the court's uh, interdict yesterday clarify who actually is meant to stand in the role of speaker uh, now that Vasco da Gama is out? Because Colin Makubele said, well, as chair of chairs, I'm meant to be the acting speaker. Mm. Did the court say no, she got it wrong, or were they not as clear? Well, the courts were just saying that the manner in which um, she went into was quite invalid. Um, and they deemed whatever proceeding that took place after she got into the position null and void. And therefore, they are off the view that whatever decision she would have taken during the process to be declared unlawful and therefore they, the courts came to a conclusion that she cannot be acting speaker and while that's the case it automatically means that uh, Brian Maduka, the acting city manager then comes in to oversee the affairs of the council session which is expected to take place um, of course coming this month end. So Al Juma is one of the smaller parties who is concerned about Mpo Palazzi and would have supported this uh, motion of no confidence. They seem to think that despite what the mayor is saying, she's sounding quite confident yeah. that she's actually still potentially in the firing line. What are they saying? Yeah, well, definitely. They, they are of the view that it won't change anything. They believe that this is just technicality. They are forging ahead with what they believe will be a motion of no confidence against the executive mayor, um, Paul Palazzi. Come the, 30, come the 30th or month end, rather, Sally, uh, when I spoke to Tapel Ahmad from Al Jama'a, he says that it will not change anything, despite Mpo saying they've got the numbers. Al Jama'a believes they've got the better position to actually ensure that they can ask the mayor Mpo Palazzi. Um, and also, this comes in the wake of the allegations that we heard whereby several councillors were bribed, allegedly, allegedly bribed, to join the minority opposition parties to ask then um, Speaker Vasco da Gama. So it will be interesting how it unfolds when we head to the 30th of this month to see what will transpire then. All right, let's listen to Al Jamal. I think they are trying to stall the processes, to delay the processes and to, to deflect. Uh, it's, it's, it's a game of numbers nonetheless. Uh, the outcome of the judgment yesterday doesn't derail any, 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 any process that we are embarking on, on the basis that uh, whatever that they are running away from, uh, they will still face in the next council sitting. We do not know why are they trying to stall the process. 
and we're not sure why are they also interdicting counsel from uh, en ensuring that they hold upon their fiduciary duty. So we'll have to see what happens on the 30th. But in the meantime, Action SA is taking action against Chair of Chairs. Colleen Makubela, tell us about that. Yeah, definitely. They feel that they got the support and backing of the multi-party coalition government in Johannesburg. But furthermore, they're saying that Makubela has brought the city into disrepute. And they believe that what they say, and I quote, captured by the minority opposition. And therefore, they're taking a firm stance to say that she cannot continue in her duties and what's quite interesting here is that while the mayor claims they've got the numbers if it is true they've got the numbers this motion could be successful and it could just paralyze um colleen makubela come the 30th of this month maybe let's just take a listen to what fools in from action SA had to say um we have also submitted our own motion as action sa uh, obviously backed by the multi-party government against um, the chair of chair. Um, at the end of this month, uh, we want to see her go. Um, she must be removed from her chair. Uh, we believe that um, she has been very irresponsible. Um, she has really put the city into disrepute. And uh, we can't have an individual like that. It's unfortunate because we have worked with her so well uh, since the beginning of this, uh, of this term. And uh, she has allowed herself to be captured um, by people that have no interest in saving the resident of this country. It's a very interesting uh, situation. And we, you know, as a resident of Johannesburg, we all want to see um, people who are corrupt, people who are doing the wrong thing, ousted. Uh, but we actually want the heart of it, don't we? But definitely. I, I think most importantly here, um, service delivery must be prioritized exactly. but at the height of this political uh, political tension we are now seeing allegations leveled against the MMC of environment and infrastructure Mr. Michael Soon um, for allegedly f facilitating a legitimate deal of transporting wildlife from Eswatini to Taiwan he's come out to say um, there isn't any warrant of arrest that, that has been issued against him um, he hasn't been in contact mm. with the Taiwanese government and all of this just coming up right now and it's interesting to see what will happen Tomorrow, the, 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 the multi-party coalition government will be tabling that service delivery scorecard to see how far have they been in terms of service delivery in the city. So it will be quite interesting to see what progress they've made, particularly after we are seeing this political squabbling at the centre of everything in the city. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for that update. Yeah, sure. Great to chat to you. That, of course, uh, was Pulele Tweety Jones. Just updating us on what is going on in Johannesburg. It seems the mayor is safe for now, but those opposed to her uh, say that it's just a matter of time. Meanwhile, those allegations are flying. We'll keep an eye on that story. But uh, 